Quantum teleportation in mathematica. Quantum is a free mathematica add-on for drag notation, quantum algebra, and quantum computing. Here we have an image from a classical copy or a classical facsimile transmission. To the bottom left, we have original that data. That data is scanned without affecting the data. The information is sent to another raw material. We apply some treatment and we have an approximate copy. So we can make copies in classical transmission of information. In quantum transmission of information, this is not possible. We cannot make copy. We only can do cut and paste as is shown in this second image. We have original data to the bottom left. That data is scanned, but the procedure of scan destroys the original information. That in the information is sent to another media where we have a teleported replica of the object. So we can do cut and paste, we cannot do copy in quantum information. The quantum teleportation circuit that represents this process is uh, given by these gates. Now we are going to use the quantum mathematica add-on to produce this circuit and make some calculations. First of all, I am going to load the quantum computing package. with this syntax in Mathematica press shift enter the palettes or toolbars of the package appear and now we are ready to make calculations for example a Hadamard gate can be obtained from the quantum computing gates palette or toolbar which is here it's in the third row first column there we go this Hadamard gate is going to be in the second qubit I press shift enter and in this case no calculation is performed. Now to have a plot of that Hadamard gate I write quantum plot bracket and then at the end close the bracket press shift enter and that's a plot of the Hadamard gate which represents the first Hadamard gate in this circuit. Instead of doing quantum plot I could do for example quantum table form to see the table, the true table for the Hadamard gate when we have this input and this output. I am going to go back to quantum plot. Now to start to generate the circuit, we send the circuit that to the right of the Hadamard gate in the second qubit, we have a control not gate. To be in the right in the circuit means to be in the left in the algebraic expression. So I go, place the cursor to the left of the Hadamard gate now have the template for a control node between gates I had I must have the symbol center dot which I select from this quantum computing gets palette or toolbar to the bottom left there we have a dot between the Hadamard and the control node gate the control gate has as a control bit the second one and the node is in the third uh, qubit I press shift enter and now I have the beginning of the circuit. You can see to the left we have the beginning of the circuit. After that we have a control not gate but now in the first and third and second qubits. To be to the right in the circuit is to be to the left in the algebraic expression. So I go to the left and write a C not template, a dot again, very important the dot from the palette. Now we have control in the first qubit, not in the second qubit, press shift enter and that is starting to look like the circuit that we have over here. To the right we have another Hadamard gate which is going to be to the left in the algebraic expression. Then we have here Hadamard gate dot that Hadamard gate is in the first qubit, shift enter, it looks closer. Now we have measurements. Measurements are not gates so we have to use another notation. I will erase the plot for the moment in order to get measurement we go to the quantum computing commands palette in that palette I select quantum plot of a qubit measurement in the first part of the measurement I am going to copy all the gates that I already have copy paste here now we have the measurement is in the first and second uh, qubits I press shift enter and now we have the measurement devices or the measurement meters in the proper position 
I will erase this expression that I will not use anymore. Now, after the measurement, to the right of the measurement, I have a control X gate. To be to the right means to be to the left in the algebra expression. So I go to the left here of the measurement. And I am going to place a control gate. Then also I must have a dot between the gate and the measurement. The control bit is in this case the second one. The gate to be controlled is an X gate. So I select X from here. Sorry, not in that position. That's the number two. Here, an X gate. And that X gate has to be in the third qubit. Let me just evaluate to see that we only uh, need an extra control Z gate over here. So we go to the left of that control gate have another control gate template another dot yeah right here that the control qubit is the first one and this is now a z gate in the third qubit and now we have the complete circuit okay you can see also that this circuit has zero and zero as inputs in the second and third qubits so that's at the beginning at the, at the left of the circuit that means is to the right in this expression, to the right of the first Hadamard gate. I write a dot, and then I am going to write a ket that has zero in the second qubit and zero in the third qubit. Okay, press shift enter, and we have now in our plot to the left zero in the first qubit, zero in the third qubit, just like the original plot over here. Now, let me write some information in the first qubit. That's the information that is going to be teleported. I place myself to the right of this cat, have the symbol for tensor product, then write uh, 1 in the first uh, qubit, and then we have our circuit with one, a number 1. Now, instead of making quantum plot, I can do quantum evaluate to see the result of this circuit and measurement. And we have the result of the circuit. And you see, originally we have a number one in the first qubit. And then at the end of each possible measurement, we have a number one. But now you see it's in the third qubit. Here, oh, here is one in the third qubit, one in the third qubit, one in the third qubit, one in the third qubit for the four possible outcomes of the measurement. Instead of having just a number one over there, I am going to write a superposition of zero and one. So I write a constant times zero in the first qubit plus another constant one and then we can see that the result of this uh, calculation how to minimize this is that we started with a and b zero and one in the first qubit and we finished with a and b zero and one in the third qubit in any possible measurement thank you